Peeps can. One morning, after a very windy night, Chirp came by to help Peep clean up. That must have been the windiest night in history. Look at all the stuff that blew into your can. It was much windier when I first moved in. <coughs> what did you say? I said, please stop kicking the dirt, it's making me cough, and how did you end up living in a can in the first place anyway, huh? Oh, how did I move here? I remember it like it was yesterday. When was it? Yesterday. I had just come out of my egg. Then I met you and Quack, and we became friends right away. It was the best day of my life. It was the only day of my life. But when the day was over... Well, time to go home. Home? Yeah, you better go home before it gets dark. I'm not sure where my home is. <laughs> Your home is where you came from. Oh, right. <laughs> Bye! That was the first time I felt wind. And it was the first time I ever felt cold. So I decided to look for someplace warm. Are you cold? No, I'm very comfortable, thanks. I'm cold. Would you like to come in and get warm? Yes, thank you. And that's how I met Nelly. My name is Pete. I don't have a home, but I'm looking. You're a large bird. <laughs> I'm a dog. I'm Nelly. Hmm. Is this a good home? It's a great home. Now shh, get some sleep. It was everything you'd want a home to be. It was nice and warm and furry. Perfect, right? No. A doghouse is just too dangerous for a peep. Tough enough for a one day old. Now I have to walk around a whole can. Oh. Hmm. hmm. I had discovered my first discovery about stuff. And I'd found a place that was safe from the wind. <sighs> the next day, I kept looking for a home. I met Newton and saw his beautiful crab apple tree. You're welcome to stay here, Peep. Thank you. This seems like a nice place to live. <gasps> Just pull your head in and you'll be safe. Pull my head in what? I'm all head. <gasps>
tree is not a good home unless you have a place to hide your head. Later on, Quack invited me to stay with him. He said, It's the perfect home. Come on! Scrawny feet. Oh, no wonder you can't swim. A pond is too wet for a peep. I'd find you here. Uh. So you slept in the can again, huh? Yep, it's pretty cozy. Okay, I'm going to go look for a place to live. I'll be home later if I don't find anything. Stop. What did you say? I said, I'll be home later if I don't find any place to live. Peep, you said home. And what are you looking for? A home. Hey, I've got a home. How did you do that? I'm a duck. What can I say? It's safe and warm. It's a place my friends can find me. I won't get wet or squished. And I slept so well I snored. Home! I had no need to keep looking because I had found the perfect home. How do you like it? It's you. Thanks, Chirp. Would you like to come into my home? Mm-hmm. And that's the story of how Peep came to live in a can, as told by Peep himself. <laughs> <laughs>